Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my October Daily. Um, this is the first week, so I'm just going to be putting the album together. I already have everything prepped, as you can see, all my journaling. Um, I have little sticky notes on everything, just to tell me what days are what. And I pretty much have day one through eight set up for me to do, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So October 1st, I didn't do much. Um, I actually didn't, don't think I did anything, <laughs> but Serena B has these awesome October daily prompts and I'll try and find the link to them and put them into the description box, blah, 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 <laughs> so you guys can see them and maybe they'll help you and you know, if you don't have a ton of stuff planned for Halloween or not even Halloween, just the month of October and you want to do an October daily, it's very helpful. Um, you don't have to go in order because obviously they're numbered 1 through 31 and you don't have to go in order You can pick and choose which prompt you want to use for you know, whatever days you didn't do much um, And so yeah, the first prompt I chose was decorations And right here. I'm just doing this card and sticking things down. This is for day three and I just fi figured I would stick down my photo and my journaling spot just so I have that done and then I can just embellish it when I get to it um, so yeah I hang up my decorations a couple weeks before hollow um, I keep saying Halloween before October um, just because I want to have them up longer <laughs> I wasn't too happy with how this card turned out I don't know I kind of like the journaling on top of the photo but when I do these photos like this on the 4x6 um, I can't really I don't really have a ton of space to journal um, I do these photos on pick stitch it's an app in the app store and basically it's like you can take a bunch of pictures and then make a collage of them which I think is pretty cool because I'm gonna be adding embellishments and pockets and stuff to this and there's shaker pockets in here and I don't want to make it too bulky so I think that's a great way to um, have your pictures you know if you if you take a bunch of pictures you just basically you know use the app and then make a collage of them all so yeah. Here I'm just adding some sequins. And there's my first card. It's okay. I'm I'm still learning, so <laughs> Um, this was night three, or day three, or night three, or whatever. We did this at night, but, um, I went to Target, and I, I remember seeing Casper as a kid, and I love that movie. Um, and it's cool to show your kids movies that you saw when you were a kid, and see them like it, just like you did. So, I wanted Jamie to see Casper, and she loves this movie now. Um, here I'm using a piece of the ephemera. I love this collection so much. So yeah, and then, oh, well, I better finish the story. Um, <laughs> so we made uh, Funfetti cups, Cupcakes because those are Steven's favorite cupcakes. So we made cupcakes and we uh, watched Casper. So this is day two and I didn't do much, but Serena B has a prompt um, on the October Daily uh, prompt list for getting crafty. So I did make these Halloween tassels and Halloween paper clips. So I thought that I would do a little card talking about how I got crafty for Halloween. So I just made these cute Mickey Mouse paper clips in the shape of like pumpkin heads and bats. And I figured it'd be cute to kind of paper clip it to my journaling spot. So here I'm just layering and I'm going to be paper clipping it to my journaling spot and gluing everything down and I think this card came out real cute. As for the journaling, um, I used my sketch pen setting on my Cameo because I don't know about you guys but I can do something really pretty or make a journal or an album or something and all I have to do is write in it and then it's crap. Like, the whole thing is trash. <laughs> I just don't like my handwriting. I don't know. So, um, I basically just use my sketch pen, or my pen holder, 
and I just, you know, used white gel pen and chose a font from the app or the um, Silhouette store. And yeah, and it wrote, wrote it out in that font for me. So I don't have to <laughs> ruin my October daily. Um, and I think it looks a lot better than my handwriting. So here is the first page of my October Daily. I love how it came out. And so here I'm just sharing with you a picture of Nick Clark, who is my favorite character from Fear the Walking Dead. For, I don't know, to me anyway, obvious reasons. Um, and then here I'm just showing you um, the other pages that I plan on doing. Just a close-up. So here I'm just cutting a little banner. Um, I found this cute drawing or illust I don't know I guess illustration I don't know a drawing on Pinterest um, of Nick and he's so cute so I figured I wanted him in my October daily so I I'm gonna put him um, on this little page that I cut in half I have the four by six pages like it holds a two, the two four by six and I figured I would just cut cut it in half like kind of or seal it with my fuse tool and then cut it in half and then I got a little mini page. So, yeah. So basically that's what I did. And I'm journaling that he's my favorite character. Because he is. <laughs> I think if, I don't know, Johnny Depp and James Franco were to have a baby. Which it's totally not possible. But if they were to have a baby, that baby would look like Frank Delane. Frank Delane, of course plays <laughs> plays um uh Nick Clark. So yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't I'm boy crazy. What can I say? Anyways, let's get off that topic. Um <laughs> so that's just me adhering everything down. I took a picture on the top left corner of my screen. That was what we were watching. And I took some photos from Pinterest of the posters and the characters and everything. And that day Steven just came home and we got food like Subway I think it was and we just hung out and watched Fear the Walking Dead and it was nice because no kids so it means we can actually hear what was going on in the show <laughs> so it was very nice I like spending time with him and watching TV so um so this happens to be day five and I'm just you know trying to see what I'm gonna do in layouts and layering and stuff um, this is a prompt, another prompt from Serena B, um, and it's your traditions. So, I guess your favorite Halloween tradition. So, my favorite Halloween tradition to do with my kids is the Great Pumpkin. Um, my son, Adam, uh, you guys know he has autism, and I like to do special things for him here and there. And he doesn't like Halloween. He doesn't like masks or capes or costumes like of any kind so he just I mean it's a struggle to do that for him every year and let him you know participate in trick-or-treating and stuff so he doesn't really like Halloween that much um so I figured I would do something for him since he loves peanuts I mean he loves Snoopy and Charlie Brown and peanuts so much ever since he was a baby he was I have video of him I think he was like one and he was you know glued to the TV watching peanuts holding his Snoopy he just loves Snoopy. I don't know. So I thought it'd be cool to have Great Pumpkin come to our house and bring goodies for the kids. And it started out, I was just doing it for him one year. And then every year, it's like a thing. Great Pumpkin comes to our house if you're good. So that's that. Um, and then this is day, what, six? And we went after dinner. Uh, to Baskin Robbins and got candy corn ice cream and it's so good you guys um I read the little description there's like a description in the glass thing what is in the ice cream or what it is and it said something about mousse it's super thick but it's really good and Aiden doesn't like ice cream really and he killed it like oh my gosh he loved it so you don't see pictures of Adam because Adam was on his iPad and he doesn't like ice cream um, I don't know, he just, my kids are weird, they don't like ice cream, and then when they get older, they like it, I don't know. Um, 
But yeah, so that's what we did on day six. And I took a picture of the ice cream and I love the colors in it. That it came out real cute. So in a minute I'm going to be doing day seven. I'm using the glittery thickers again from the collection. I'm, you know, using both thickers. So I'm using the black ones with the gold polka dots and I'm using the gold ones. So I'm just switching it up every now and then. So on day seven, I received some happy mail. My brother was nice enough to get me some crafty goodies because he knows I'm like on a spending freeze kind of thing. <laughs> so he was nice enough to let me get some crafty goodies. So I got some fall um, stuff because I love fall. I love fall. I love winter, but I love like October, November. It's just like it's the weather is not too freezing. It's just beautiful. And I just I don't know. I love fall. So, I got, you know, a lot of fall stuff, some Halloween stuff um, from scrapbook.com, and then I got Serena B's Monster Bash stamp set. I was so excited. Um, I had ordered it before, and it just came. It had just come in the mail, so I ordered it before my spending freeze. Um, so, yeah, here I'm just layering, and then I stapled a little bat from the ephemera pack to the picture of Serena's stamp set. And I thought this was actually cool because <laughs> um, Serena likes black and white stripe and I actually use the black and white stripe paper for it. So here I'm just using my Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap date stamp. So on day 8 I used another one of Serena B's um, October Daily Prompts and this is your favorite Halloween movie. And my favorite, ho well one of my favorite Halloween movies is Hocus Pocus. And I just, I love this movie so much, but it comes with a not-so-nice memory. <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell you guys, but, I mean, <laughs> I was a kid, and I meant nothing by it, but I got in big trouble. Um, so, we were, when this movie came out, I was a kid, obviously, and we were watching it with my whole family. And my grandmother and I, you know, used to watch movies and stuff with, you know, Bette Midler, like, beaches and stuff like that. And um, I don't know. I... My grandmother took it the wrong way, <laughs> but I told her, like, Grandma, you look like, you know, and I meant, I meant Bette Midler. I meant nothing by the witch who she plays, Winifred. I did not mean, Grandma, you look like the witch. I meant, like, Grandma, you look like, you look like Bette Midler. I swear. I did not mean anything by it, like, you know, and listen, I don't know, but all I remember is, I saw lights, and I don't remember nothing after that but me crying. <laughs> so I got in trouble. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, everyone in my family knows that story, like, because my whole family was there when I said it, and everyone was laughing and stuff, but it was like, I didn't mean to say Grandma looked like a witch. I just meant that she looked like Bette Midler, but I got in big trouble because, you know, Bette Midler, Bette Midler looks kind of, you know, gnarly in that video or in that movie. So, Yeah. <laughs> So here is a quick flip through of my October daily and I know people do like crazy beautiful layouts but I just you know my stuff's pretty simple and I didn't do much on these days but I do have stuff planned for you know other days that I'll probably do better layouts but this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.